you're about to watch a 10-minute presentation from Yurubadala Shire Council designed to help you understand Council's delivery plan and operational plan, currently on exhibition until the 8th of June 2012. You should also refer to the full documents for information, and these are available on Council's website, in the Batemans Bay, Maruya and Naruma libraries, and in Council's Customer Service Centre in Maruya. Council is seeking input from the community, and you can do this by making a submission, which is simply a letter or email telling us your views. You can also make a submission by just talking to us. You tell us what you want to say, we'll write it down for you, and you can sign it so it's your submission. We hope you enjoy our presentation. It's the first time Yerubadala Shire Council has prepared a video presentation, and we're doing this as a direct response to the community's request for us to improve the way we communicate big issues like this. In April this year, Council adopted the Yerubadala 2030 Community Strategic Plan. This plan sets out the community vision, priorities and aspirations for Yerubadala up to the year 2030. This type of long-term planning opens the door for Council and the community to plan for the future and have important discussions about funding priorities, service levels, local character and asset management to ensure that together we are heading in the right direction. Council is now seeking your input into the delivery program, the operational plan and the resourcing strategy. These plans meet Council's legislative requirement to implement the New South Wales Government integrated planning and reporting reforms. These are the first steps in getting the community strategic plan happening. In preparing the community strategic plan, Council asked community members to share their vision for the future of the Yerubadala Shire. Over 3,000 members of the community responded. Together, we discussed some of the ways we could bring that vision to life. Financial challenges and possible rating options were canvassed through a survey and a series of focus groups late last year. The messages we heard loud and clear from our community are that Council needs to do three things. One is to continue to find more cost-effective ways of doing business and delivering services. The second is to improve and update how we communicate and interact with our community. And the third is to provide better information about the services Council provides, what they cost and who benefits. The message we want you to hear now is that you spoke, we listened, and now we are acting. The way we turn the community's priorities into reality is by creating a plan of action. The delivery program is a statement of commitment from Council to achieving the community's vision and it identifies clear initiatives and programs that Council will undertake in a four-year period. The operational plan is a more detailed one-year plan which outlines specific actions, budgets and capital works as well as information about rates, fees and charges. To ensure that we can deliver on these plans, Council has considered financial, asset management and workforce requirements in its resourcing strategy. Together, these plans will make it clear to the community what Council will do to achieve the community's vision while operating within available resources. Council provides some great services that make Yerubadala a fantastic place to live. Whether we are lucky enough to live here permanently or be one of the million visitors that holiday here through the year. Yerubadala has more than double the state average of people over the age of 65. This has implications for both rating in the form of pensioner rebates and for the range and type of services Council provides. Council also manages over $1.2 billion worth of assets such as roads, water and sewer infrastructure and community facilities. To provide these services, Council employs 473 local people and partners with hundreds of volunteers. We are proud of our people and what they do for our community. For now, the delivery program and operational plan provide for business as usual. 
In 2012 to 2013, it is expected that Council will manage an income of more than $86 million. Just over 50% of this income is derived from rates. 24% is from user fees and charges. A further 20% comes from grants. 3% comes from developer contributions. And the remaining 2% from investments. So where does it go? For every $100 that Council spends, $22 is for roads and transport infrastructure. $33 is for water and sewer infrastructure. $10 is for parks, boating and community facilities. And $9 is for waste management. The remaining expenditure is split across programs such as community and economic development, planning, development control and environment and sustainability. Like many councils, Yoruba Dalashai Council continues to face the challenge of providing services in an economic climate where costs are rising faster than revenue. Council is also faced with increasing pressure to provide a wider range of services and an ongoing requirement to meet tighter environmental and regulatory obligations. We have been proactive and we're pleased with the efficiency gains we've delivered over the past few years. These include energy use savings, continuous improvement programs, and increased workforce capacity. But the delivery program and operational plan, which provide for business as usual, will still result in a budget shortfall. Therefore, we need to work together with you to look at the options. In the next 12 months, Council will be asking for your help in reviewing the number and type of services we provide and how we deliver those services to the community. This will allow us to continue to pursue efficiency gains and review our income sources and help us determine the most effective and responsible way to do business. So, what does all of this mean for you, the ratepayer? In the coming year, Council is proposing to increase the general rate and environment levy by the rate picking amount only, which is 3.6%. The amount of your rates will be based on new land valuations which occurred in 2011. Some residents will pay more rates and others will pay less. Despite these changes, the total income from rates collected by Council will only increase by the 3.6 rate picking amount. The water based charges will remain unchanged at $167, but the water usage charge will increase slightly by $0.09 cents per kilolitre. Sewer charges will increase by 5% for residential users. For business ratepayers, the sewer discharge fees will move to the fourth stage of the five-stage phasing period. Waste collection services will also rise by 3.6% for the typical household. And what can you actually do about it? We have done our best to interpret your vision into actions in these plans. Remember, they are a draft and we need your feedback. The exhibition of the draft delivery program and operational plan presents a real opportunity for members of the community, like you, to have your say into what Council will do in your community in the next four years. It is easy to make a submission by post, email or via Council's website. Submissions will be received up until the close of the exhibition period at 4.30pm on Friday the 8th of June 2012. Thank you for your time and we look forward to working with you to continue to shape Yurubadala into the friendly, responsible, thriving and proud community we all want to be a part of.